Hello, welcome back, Regal Smith here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to use essential oils and natural solutions to support a healthy respiratory system. Now, it's the time of year where people around me, they are feeling irritation in their throat, congestion, and some of it seems to be lagging around and sticking around much longer than it previously used to. So I'm gonna share with you my tips that I've been using for over the last decade to help support a healthy respiratory system, some practical things you can implement right now with you and your family, and some things to keep in mind for next time you may need some of these natural solutions. So first off, let's talk about breathe essential oil. This is probably the most popular and most common thing that we recommend when we hear about supporting a healthy respiratory system. It is a little bit minty, there's a hint of cardamom, eucalyptus, tea tree. It is something that smells like it should wake me up. So it's one I like to put on my chest before exercise or any time I need a little bit of boost. But the oils in it also help to support irritation within the respiratory system. So one of the easiest things that you can do is to put breathe in your diffuser as needed. This can be daily, this can be in the evening. If we feel like we need breathe at night, we put part breathe and part lavender. So we have that calming effect of the lavender, the respiratory supporting oils with the breathe. In here we have laurel leaf, laurel leaf, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, lemon, cardamom, ravensara. And that's interesting, right? Cardamom you don't usually think of as supporting the respiratory system, but it's a really great oil. We usually think of it more as a digestive oil and it gives it a nice hint of spice and sweetness. Another thing that you can do with your breathe oil, if you feel like there's a lot of wetness to your congestion in your respiratory system, you can add lime. So you could add lime to the diffuser. I find that the citrus oils help to kind of break up that congested feeling. So this is a great combo to try if you need that kind of support. The breathe also comes in other forms. So if you're a big fan of breathe drops, so you can have these and just a little lozenge and they make these and breathe on garden ginger so that's a nice solution my daughter really likes these if she's having an irritated respiratory system or the breathe stick so this is the breathe oil in a base of i believe it's coconut base but it's a solid stick that you can rub on your chest bottoms of your feet then put socks on to help to support that system now, next we're gonna talk about what do you do when there's just this congestion and it feels like your head's gonna explode and nothing seems to be relieving it. My favorite go-to is called a sinus steamer or a steam cup. And I'll have this recipe and all the recipes I talk about and more linked below on my newest blog on Bliss Mama. So right below this YouTube video, you'll be able to find this. But the steam cup, this works so well. I've been using this, like I mentioned, for over a decade. It works every time for me. So you just put a cup of hot water, you know, just boil some water, and then you're gonna do one drop each of tea tree, peppermint, oregano, and lemon. So that peppermint's gonna open and wake up everything. Tea tree is gonna help with any of that inflammation, help to get rid of the gunk. We have the same for the oregano to get rid of that gunk, and then the lemon's gonna break up all that congestion. So one drop of each is all you need. Put it in there with the hot water and then slowly start to breathe it in. And it will start to open up those airways as the hot water cools down. You can even get brave and kind of put a towel over your head and just kind of let all those vapors help to break everything up. It is very strong, so be careful with this. Uh, the first time I did it, I do wear contact lenses and I had them in and they started to get very uncomfortable from the hot oils like the oregano oil and I had to take them out and my little eyes got red so be careful just keep it at a further distance same thing with children it is pretty strong so with children I would use I'd probably omit the oregano because the oregano is very hot oil maybe with children just lemon for sure one drop tea tree one drop lemon and then peppermint or you can maybe even try frankincense because frankincense isn't going to hurt their little eyes so just use some of the milder oils, but it works really well and your nose will start to run, everything will open up and it, work, it works really quickly. So that's sinus steamer steam cup. Another oil that you could use are any of the herbal oils. So when you think of an herbal garden, it's a very medicinal use when we think of using these in our culinary things and teas, things of that nature. 
These are also great to incorporate into your diffuser blends or your roller bottle blends when Breathe Alone isn't cutting it or oils that you would think of like eucalyptus is really a classic go-to for the respiratory system. When you need something a little bit more, try adding some of the herbal oils. So these are great to add to the diffuser. Uh, also thyme oil, I don't think I got my thyme oil out, uh, but you could also add thyme to this mix, which is one of my favorites. So add Breathe plus thyme or Breathe with thyme with a little bit of coconut oil or in a roller to really help with something that's persistent and doesn't seem to be going away like it should. Try, of course, we love our medical professionals, so consult our medical professionals when necessary, but also know that you have additional options to try. So try the time and breathe, that works really well. Or some other ones that you can try would be marjoram, so another herbal spicy oil. Same thing with rosemary. These are all great and they all have slightly different properties and sometimes your body will need one more than the other and you just have to experiment and try. So I would try thyme first and then either rosemary or marjoram, whatever you have. So these seem to help as well. And then another one that isn't an herb, it's a tree oil, is Arbor Vitae or Arbor Vitae. It's however you wanna pronounce it, both are proper. This comes from the Tree of Life. They're thousand year old plus cedar trees from the Pacific Northwest. And once these trees have naturally fallen, they are harvested and the oil is utilized. This is an extremely effective oil for supporting a healthy immune system. We don't talk about it as often as we could. It's very mild yet effective. So great for children. It's not a hot oil. It's not spicy. It smells very woody, like a very old thousand year old wood tree. It kind of smells a little bit like Home Depot saw sawdust too. But this is a great one you could incorporate with the breathe, with the thyme oil, just put it on the chest. If somebody is not feeling well in our house, this is always going in our bathtub. So if it was respiratory stuff, you could try a few drops of Arbor Vitae, maybe a little bit, a uh, drop or two of tea tree oil, and then something that's just calming like frankincense or lavender to kind of round it all out. But this is one of our for sure go-tos for any type of immune or respiratory help that we need. Another thing that you can try for respiratory support in your diffuser blends are fir tree oils. So Douglas fir, Siberian fir, sometimes we have limited edition ones like balsam fir. All of those fir tree oils help to support the respiratory system. And it's, you know, it's kind of a coincidence, or is it a coincidence, that around that Christmas time and that time when people are bringing a lot of congestion around and everything's cold and we're kind of not always feeling our best, we're diffusing these because they smell like winter and Christmas time. So I diffuse a lot of fur in our home with peppermint or clove or frankincense. I love the smell. And in addition, the people in my home are getting support for the respiratory system. So this is something that's nice to do just daily and long-term during the season to help support the respiratory system. Uh, another blend, if you can get your hands on it, is Midnight Forest. Now this is a limited edition blend, so maybe you have it and you don't know what to do with it, or next time you see it, you'll know what to do with it. This is a great one to diffuse in the winter and seasons when your uh, lungs could need an extra boost. This is one that we diffused almost every day in 2020. It was such an essential oil to help support our respiratory and our lungs. Uh, our, our friends, our family, our customers, this was a huge integral part. It was released in 2020 for a reason, and we were using it a lot to help support our respiratory system. And it has fir tree oils. It has Siberian fir, cypress, juniper, black spruce, wild orange, frankincense, and a few others that you can't get individually from doTERRA, like pimento, cystus, caraway, and labdum essential oils. It smells great. It's very grounding, very earthy. So if you get a chance to get some Midnight Forest, you might want to add this to your collection. Now, another thing that you can use if your throat is extremely irritated and you can't seem to get rid of it, my favorite combination is um, just a shot glass of water. So just a little shot glass of water. And I put one drop cilantro and one drop of On Guard which is our protective blend that is great to diffuse for a healthy immune system. So you could combine On Guard and Breathe in diffuser. But for this one, for your throat, just a shot each uh, in a shot glass and they're for internal use. 
because they have nutrition facts, so you can take these internally. That's how you know if they're for internal use, or doTERRA's website will also tell you. But one drop cilantro, one drop on guard. Cilantro doesn't taste the best to everybody, but I don't mind because I like the benefit. And I take one of those shots two to three times a day until that's gone. And usually within a day or two, I can get that to go away completely. So that's something that you don't, well, you won't hear many people talk about, but it works really well because cilantro has some benefits that work on some strains of things that other things don't that we use. So combine it with your On Guard works great. If you absolutely can't stand the flavor of cilantro, then put it in little empty vegetable capsules and you can make your own little oil, oil shots. So put them in there and then you don't have to taste it, but it's best if you can get it on the throat coating and it'll work even better. Another option too for um, irritated throat is of course using natural honey, some raw organic honey. And I like to do just a little teaspoon of honey and add lemon oil and either on guard or clove oil. So clove has a nice numbing effect, so that kind of feels good. But just a little spoonful of one honey drop and one on guard drop. And then you can do just the honey and that'll help or you can add it to hot water. Now, I would recommend warm water over hot because once your hot water is over 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll start to degrade some of the oils. So citrus oils will start to degrade and be less effective at 140 degrees. Some other ones are higher at 150, some are 160 degrees, but if you wanna mix it, just have your water be warm and not super hot. Um, two more tips I think I'll share with you are Air X. Air X is my favorite blend to travel with and put it in my travel diffuser. And Air X is the air blend. It was designed for highly polluted areas, like larger urban cities. And this is one that I fell in love with when we had a bunch of fires in Colorado. And it was actually during 2020 where we weren't supposed to leave and we were supposed to social distance. And I couldn't even go outside because everything around me was burning. And then inside my house smelled like it was burning. It was really hard to get that to go away and my lungs felt irritated just breathing in the smoke even in my house. So this is something we diffused that did also help with that. It smells to me fresh, it smells clean. It also smells like all my hotel rooms because now I associate the smell with traveling, which I do love. If I have it going next to my bed, I put it with lavender to help me sleep. Uh, but Airx has in it Litsia, which kind of smells a little bit like lemongrass, tangerine, grapefruit and cardamom. So there's that cardamom oil again that we were talking about. So yeah, it's just kind of bright, fresh, clean, and one that I like to travel with. Uh, my final tip for you for respiratory health, if you have respiratory discomfort that comes with the changing of the season, springtime when we have all the flowers in bloom, you can try something called Tri-Ease. And I don't have my Tri-Ease bottle, I forgot to grab it, but they're little soft gels called Tri-Ease, or you can make your own, and I'll teach you how to do that in a moment. And Tri-Ease is a capsule of lemon, lavender, and peppermint essential oil. And you can take this capsule as often as needed, one a day, multiple times a day, or just occasionally, and it helps to clear that pretty fast. So lavender is a natural antihistamine, it helps to calm everything, lemon is cleansing, and it has that peppermint as well. So if you wanna make your own, you can do one to two drops of lemon oil, lavender and peppermint in a vegetable capsule, or you can buy the triese, or you can even use it on the feet. So before we had the triese, we used this as uh, you know a family and our customers on the bottoms of our feet, just a drop of each of those lemon, lavender, peppermint on the feet. Uh, and then a third way that you can do it is in a shot glass and have a, a shot basically is just a drop of each of those oils, a little shot of water, shoot it as needed. So you have options. You can use the oils, the triese capsules, um, or even a roller bottle blend. So using whatever is convenient for you. Uh, the final tip, I have one more bonus tip, is if you want to help support any system in your body, including the respiratory system, and if you're not familiar with the symphony of the cells, you can check this out on Boyd Truman's website. I think it's called True Wellness, but this is really cool because he has different protocols for each body system, and there is one for the respiratory system. And in this book, he will teach you how to apply these oils and which oils to apply along the spine anytime you need a little extra boost. 
And you can pull different oils from this protocol and stick them in the diffuser and use them that way as well. Um, but this is just an example of how simple this book is. So respiratory protocol, frankincense, carrier oil, tea tree, on guard, aroma touch, breathe, rosemary, eucalyptus, melissa or arborvitae, uh, and then peppermint. So this is a great resource as well to learn how to use it. I think this is an old cover. His new covers are a little bit updated, but this is a great way to take your skills to the next level. So if you have any recommendations of how you use the oil, something that works really well for you or your family, please drop them below. I'd love to hear from you and see what's working for you. And of course, if you are new and you don't have a doTERRA wholesale account yet, you can shop doTERRA wholesale, get a free wholesale pricing linked below on my website at blissmama.com. Order as much or as little as you want, no monthly commitment and save and get the best possible price. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.